How's it going, selectors? And welcome to our very first TCG product review here on We Cross Zone. Today, we are going to be reviewing some cultured anime merch. And as such, the items we're going to be showing off today are just a little bit spicy for the most part. There's some varying degrees of spiciness in these products. For example, here is one that we're going to be reviewing. And as you can see, it does have very nice cultured artwork here. These are all sent to me by Interlude. And basically what they are is they are a new merch company that makes like lewd anime card game merch, <laughs> basically. That's what they are. They had a Kickstarter and we're gonna talk about that in just a second. But they did send me all of this stuff to review and they were just like, hey, give your honest opinion. And that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna start off by talking about their Kickstarter. So I looked into it, and if you look on there right now, you'll see that they currently have a copyright dispute for some of the art that was in their Kickstarter. Now, obviously this was a huge concern for me. I'm a huge supporter of artists, and um, I mean, it's just part of my core ethos. I, I really wanna support um, artists. I really appreciate all the hard work and all of the energy and passion that goes into creating artwork. So I obviously reached out to the people at Interlude and I was like, hey, what's the deal with this? Like, I was like, I was, I was honest. I was like, hey, this could be a deal breaker. I just might not review your stuff. Do you want me to send it back? Cause like, this, this is really important to me. And they got back to me and said it was um, some sort of misunderstanding with the timing of the Kickstarter and the acquisition of the rights to the specific art. But everything that they sent me and everything on their store currently, they have commercial rights to. And as such, we're not gonna be taking that uh, copyright dispute into account when we talk about the items that we're reviewing today. And also going forward, they will also have, you know, commercial rights to all of the art on their, you know, new and upcoming products. It was only several of the pieces that were shown off in their Kickstarter, all of which are, they, they, they aren't selling them, right? So the only ones they have that are available to sell and the ones that I'm showing off today, uh, they do have the rights. So with that said, keep in mind, like I said, that these pieces are fairly spicy. Let me, let me hold up this one once again so you can kind of get an idea of it. So, you know, maybe if there's like, a, well, I mean, you're watching a channel about Wheat Cross, so you, you probably already know the deal, right? So it's gonna be kind of lewd. Let's get to it. All right, so before we begin, I do wanna give one caveat. And there's a reason why I'm kind of like uh, blocking this up. It's because of YouTube. And I don't know if this will pass for um, YouTube monetization stuff. Essentially, I just wanna say that I believe there is a time and place for cultured stuff of this caliber. And I just want to, you know, caution people who are out there who are buying this stuff and who are maybe a little desensitized to it to maybe not bring it to like a, a Pokemon event or something like that. But if you're going to like, you know, an event where you know the people are going to be into the, the, the cultured spiciness, then yeah, go for it. Yeah, just, just keep that in mind as we talk about the stuff. That, that one was the only one that I felt that I needed to censor, by the way, j just for like, you know, the, the YouTube the YouTube algorithm and the YouTube audience or any, whatever. But um, yeah, let, let's start talking about this. So we have uh, we have a deck box, we have this uh, bag, we have this really cool card and we have two play mats, one of which I absolutely love. So you know what, let, let's go over the thing that I like the most out of all this stuff other than this card. We'll talk about this card in, in just a second. And that is this uh, Evangelion Ray play mat. And I think it is absolutely Phenomenal. I, I love the way it looks. This is part of their uh, 2022 Dream Con collection or set or whatever it is. I think this playmat is phenomenal. And uh, personally, I, I would use this playmat. So it's a little cultured, but not, but not too much. Not too much. I think this is mostly acceptable for, you know, anyone out there. So I wouldn't mind like busting this out at uh, various events. Clearly we have short hair Ray and long hair Ray for you Evangelion fans out there. But once again, I think it's phenomenal. Also, uh, Ray is uh, best girl from the series. Eh, eh, eh. I'll, I'll, I'll stand by that, I'll stand by that. Uh, we do have uh, another play mat. And this one is um, the Empress of Flames, one of their series one play mats. And I'm not entirely sure what this character is from. I wanna say, I wanna say something like Honkai Impact, but 
I'm not sure. It's only a smidge, only a smidge lewd, as you can as you can clearly see. But um, yeah, overall, I dig the play mats. I really, really like this one. Like I said, the play mat quality isn't too bad. I would probably give it like a like a like a B plus on the quality. It's a stitched play mat. Um, you can feel a little bit of the stitching, you know, in some places. And when you drag cards over it, they do catch a little bit, but it's not too bad. I've, I've had much worse. I'm really particular about the uh, stitched play mats, in my opinion, but I do think this one is pretty good. And like I said, I really, really like the Evangelion one in particular. We also have this, which um, I've already kind of showed off a little bit already. Um, you know, it's just a, it's a bag. You can see inside with uh, fantastic artwork. It does have like uh, straps so you can, you know, carry it around on your backpack or chest or however you would like. Um, inside it does have uh, several more pockets for all of your, you know, dice or, or whatnot, um, as well as like, you know, a little thing you can clip a keychain or something too, and, and more, more extra pockets. Um, I prefer personally like um, bigger bags and that kind of stuff, but you know, you could, you could go worse with this. So uh, yeah, if you're looking for some cultured merch and you want a bag, I mean, the art here is clearly fantastic. So I don't think it's too bad at all. I don't think it's too bad at all. Um, let's take a look at some of the other stuff that I really haven't dug too, de too much into detail yet. We still have those sleeves. We still have uh, the deck box, which um, I believe this character is also from Honkai Impact, I believe. Is this one Raiden? But not Raiden Shogun from Genshin Impact. Uh, and then we have uh, this card. And this is part of their like, uh, you know, interlude trading cards. And once again, it features this uh, beautiful Evangelion artwork here, which I really, really dig. Uh, this is promo one of one. This is their uh, Dream Con uh, quarter three, 2022 interlude. So yeah, I really dig this. Um, I love how they did the, the spot foiling on here, right? So the background's foil, but it's not foiling on the characters. So I think the, the quality on this is, is, is quite nice and it looks really good. So if you're into trading cards or using these as tokens or anything like that, um, I think it's pretty cool. All right, let's take a look at this deck box. I haven't actually opened this up yet. So um, we're, gonna, we're gonna do that. Um, the deck box itself is, you know, when I used to go to a lot of, uh, local game stores when I was a kid, you would see a lot of deck boxes that were in this kind of style. You know, I'm, I would guess it has a Velcro front and then it has like this kind of like, I don't know what to call this texture, like this plastic with the, these lines on it. I have like a really nice Rebecca Gay one that I had from when I was a kid. Um, but yeah, Crimson Thunder Interlude. The big problem with these kind of deck boxes, and I've, I've also seen um, Japanese card games have these kind of deck boxes. And yeah, it is totally, totally Velcro. The big problem that I've had with uh, these kind of deck boxes, and that looks, you know, absolutely fantastic artwork there, um, is you have a couple problems. You have the bottoms will sometimes give out after extended use, and then the um, the Velcro will actually give out after extended use. So those are my only like concerns with a deck box like this. Otherwise, it just it looks really nice. So if you're into this kind of stuff then um, yeah, you could definitely go worse. I, d I do like how it's just like, on the front it's just like boobs and thighs and then you have her face on the top. Um, I really do like this character though. I, like, I, did, I do believe, believe her name is uh, Raiden and uh, she um, has some really, really nice anime figures that recently came out. So ones that I have, I have considered purchasing. So yeah, that one's pretty cool. And then finally we have the sleeves. So let's open up the sleeves and take a look. Uh, so there are 60 sleeves. These are standard size, crystal clear. Let's uh, let's check it out. Um, like I said, I don't want to get demonetized. Though I mean, this channel doesn't really have much monetization anyway. Um, okay, so they are pretty glossy, right? I can kind of tell. You know, actually, let me let me stand up and grab some current, this pile of Wee Cross that I have just elsewhere on the table. So this was um, that uh, Japanese box of Conflated Diva that I opened up. And let's just kind of check out at least the front quality. I mean, yeah, I mean, they're, they're clear. They look not too bad. Here, let me grab uh, 
I'm gonna grab some different foils here so we can kind of like give this a good run, right? So we have a, uh, we have MC Lion here. Yeah, I mean like at least in the front, the quality looks pretty good. Um, I would guess they're gonna be akin to standard um, like art sleeves in which that they, they probably don't have the same quality as something like a, a dragon shield. And I wouldn't be able to know unless I, you know, give it a thorough, a thorough scratching. So, I mean, I guess we could, we could try that. We could, we could try it out. We can try to scratch them up a little bit and see if it chips or anything. Uh, you know what? Not, not too much, honestly. Let's see if I can catch that in the, not too much, honestly. Um, the other thing is I can try to try to do the stress test and do the old the old uh, the old stress test here. And I imagine, yeah, they 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 snapped fairly fairly easily. But I mean, that's come you know you come to expect that with a lot of the um, the art sleeves like this. So you would be mostly getting it for the look and you know definitely know what the the look <laughs> the look is here. So you'd be getting it for the look and maybe doing a third outer sleeve on these. You can buy those at a lot of uh, a lot of places that sell other Japanese style sleeves, sell like the outer sleeves or like the sleeve protector. So you can technically triple sleeve, but a lot of times you just sleeve up your art sleeves so they don't get damaged. It's just a thing that uh, you do for a lot of uh, Japanese sleeves. I have a massive stack of uh, Japanese art sleeves. So I would say the sleeves are for the most part, a purchase if you are like into the art, right? Um, I would personally still stick with, you know, like a dragon shield or something like that if you wanted to have like just the strongest sleeves possible. But if you wanted to go for ones with specific art, you could go with something like this and then, um, you know, put an outer sleeve or something like that on it. Overall, what do I think? Honestly, I don't think it's too bad. I think the art is uh, fantastic, especially when it comes to like this Evangelion artwork, the um, the Honkai Impact artwork here, and and I think it's a good effort for a you know budding company looking to get into a very niche and specific style of products. Like I said, every I think there's a time and place for everything. So you know if you are rocking up to like a Pokemon event with these, with these sleeves, don't be surprised if they ask you to change the sleeves, right? But if you're going to like a, uh, you know, I, I say, but with with, uh, with the utmost respect, um, if you're going to an event where you know it's just gonna be um, all adults or you're gonna be playing in an anime card game or you're going to, you know, if you know the audience is gonna be cool with it, then I think it's cool. Um, some of the stuff like, like this Evangelion mat, I think would be appropriate in almost any situation. Um, and, um, yeah, that, that's basically how I feel about this kind of stuff. I, I personally have some products on Red Zone Rogue that, you know, get into this territory too, like our uh, summer mat here gets into that uh, territory where, um, you know, I think there's a time and place for it. And this is my own branded product with uh, my own custom artwork there. So yeah, that, that's my final verdict. I think if you're into this kind of stuff, it is worth checking out. I do have a, a link in the description if you'd like to check it out. And um, yeah, that, that's about all I have to say with this. Let me know in the comments down below what you think, if you backed their Kickstarter, if, uh, you know, just anything. I'm, I'd be very curious. Thank you so much for watching everyone. And we will see you next time.